You're in Braves country. Good morning, Braves country. Atlanta Braves uh, got good news and they got bad news last night. Uh, the bad news, obviously, the Atlanta Braves lose in a just debacle of a ball game last night as they were trounced by the Nationals. Final score ended up being 11 to 6. The good news is that the New York Mets lost out in the desert. They lost six to five, so we lost no ground in the NL East per se. Obviously, the Nats gained a game on us. And as we look at the standings for today as it sits, Atlanta's three and a half behind the Mets. The Mets are actually playing an early game today, and I see that it's the YouTube game of the day, so you want to make sure you try to catch that. I believe it's around 3.30 Eastern. I think first pitch might be like 3.40, but it's around 3.30 Eastern. YouTube game of the day, set your uh, watches to that so so you know to uh, get a hold of that. We'll, we'll uh, look take a quick look at that game here in a second. Um, the Philadelphia Phillies, they won yesterday, so they are now a half game behind Atlanta. Marlins lost or a four-game losing streak. They are five games out of first place, a game and a half behind Atlanta and the, and the Braves have a two and a half game lead over Washington. Okay. So what do we got going on today real quick uh, with the Mets and diamondbacks it's Peterson versus mad bum mad bums had some bad outings, but all in all, he's been much better this year than he was last year. So I think that, I think the diamondbacks have a chance to win this game and take the series. And if they take the series against the Mets, that's a big deal. If you're a Mets fan, you don't like that at all. But getting a little ahead of ourselves because Peterson is a solid pitcher. He's got a one and four record, but he's not a terrible pitcher. He's not someone that you're running out there going, oh, God, how bad are we going to get beat? Peterson can go out there and put up good innings. So it should be a great game. I'm looking forward to watching that as the early part of what I call uh, an at least doubleheader because you get the Mets at 340. It is 340. Uh, 340 Easter. It will be on YouTube, so anybody can watch it. And then on uh, 720, the Braves will take on the Nationals. It's Smiley versus Lester. Real quick before we go into that game, just want to talk about yesterday's game real quick. Just made, I always make notes during the game because I don't want to forget to talk about it. And, you know, first of all, the first inning, the Braves had a chance to really jump on Strasburg. Now, he ends up coming out after the second inning because of what they're saying uh, is a trapezoid injury. What that means, we, we'll find out probably later today or tomorrow. On I, I would assume he's heading to the IL. That can't be good. And Strasburg, who has had injuries, plagued his career. He, can, he held it all together and stayed healthy for 2019. That's essentially why the Nats won the World Series. But once again, if, if this is a blow like this, I just, I got a feeling that Washington might become sellers. So uh, it won't do Atlanta any good because you won't be able to get anything from, from your in-division rival, but it'll make it interesting for, for the rest of the trade market. But they blow the opportunity. Strasburg was not at 100%. You could tell. It was a little strange. When they went out there to check on him, and he kept looking over in the dugout. I'm a little surprised that they let him go as long as they did. But anyways, uh, Atlanta doesn't take advantage of it. And then Max Freed gets in his, in, in his own way, essentially. Max Freed, couple of errors. Uh, Wilson Contreras is just an absolute disaster behind the plate. As much as you love having him with his bat, I did find it interesting to see that he has the highest hard hit rate of any catcher in Major League Baseball. I think they said 53.5% uh, 
So basically half the time he's up there, he's hitting rockets. So the offense you like the defense, I guess for, for right now, they're going to live with it. Um, I think we could be costing ourselves a lot of W's as much as I love watching Contreras hit and a big fan of that. He, it seems like he needs more time in the minors to be able to cultivate his defense, but they're kind of put behind rock in a hard place. And they're, I, I would suspect that until Darnold comes back, he's going to be the catcher. If he wants to stay up here in the majors, he's really going to have to look into doing more on the defensive side to be able to get these W's because you can't have a catcher. There were two pass balls. You can't have a catcher who drops basic catches, basic pitches. I'm not expecting the hockey goalie back there, right? But when the ball is smacking him in the glove and it's rolling to the backstop because he misses it by a hair or two, which is how it's how precise you have to be as a major league catcher. It's just an absolute disaster right now. And you hope that it doesn't come in. But the, the more this happens, the more teams are going to realize how big of an Achilles heel he's going to be defensively, and they will take advantage of it. And the old baseball adage, when you're struggling defensively, the ball will find you. So we hope for more, but that his, his, in, okay. So first of all, freed in the second inning turns. I'm, I'm sorry. It wasn't the second inning. It was the fourth inning. Turns to try. We have runners on. We have a runner on first base. There's a dribbler to Freed. There's one out. He should have taken the easy out. Literally, the next batter gets out. That would have ended the 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 inning. Instead, what ends up happening is the floodgates open. And I'm a little surprised that they charged freed with six earned runs you don't normally see that but that's how the uh scoring system did it yesterday you you normally don't see that but anyways um freed turns to try to gun him down at second to try to pull like the immaculate double play throws it into the outfield then shortly after that there's a pass ball by Contreras that gets guys up on second and third and away we go. You end up getting a single out of the deal. And then the home runs given up. The, the single ends up scoring two, obviously. And then they played another two when they bring Santana in. And one of the things that I'm a little confused by with the Atlanta Braves is they had not played They played Wednesday. They were off Thursday. They were rained out on Friday. They played Saturday. They were rained out on Sunday and they played Monday. So in a calendar week, they had played three games and we go to Santana to try to bail us out. And that made absolutely no sense to me. Santana has a six, seven, five ERA. I don't think he's a terrible pitcher, but when you put him in, you basically are waving the white flag when the score at the time was four to one. And you had your entire bullpen you could go to, and you knew that they were going to give up runs because Strasburg was already out of the damn game. So they don't do that. And then the bottom of the fourth, nothing.
bottom of the fifth, though, they played three. Had they gone to one of their, what, what most people will call a high leverage pitcher. In other words, go to the back of your bullpen early to get out of that mess. There's a very good chance Atlanta wins the game yesterday. Snicker, once again, is going to sit there and talk about in his post games and his pre games and his everything about how well you got to manage the whole bullpen for the entire season. But damn it, you got to go out and try to win a game sometime. You can't go just try, well, you know what? We're screw it. We're going to try to go 28 0 in September and see if we can make the playoffs that way. You've got to go out and try to win the damn game when you've got it in your hands. So, th so then we go from there, and, of course, Matzik was just terrible last night. Uh, normally, Matzik really good. I'm not going to kill him for it, but Matzik was just terrible last night. The game was almost out of reach as it was. We were starting to claw back in. Uh, Tomlin pitched, actually pitched pretty well last night, and what an incredible pickoff play that he threw at uh, first base. I mean, I mean that was absolutely unreal. Um Newcomb came in. He pitched well, but Dayton, Matzik, they give up. What, what, what they end up giving up a total of five earned runs. Braves lose eleven to six. So we'll move on. We'll 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 set that aside, and we'll we look to today. Another seven twenty start. Remember, tomorrow is an early game. Uh, seven twenty start. Smiley versus Lester. Really wish Atlanta would push these starts up. I mean, my God, 720. Why? 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 You're in the Eastern time zone. Why the hell are you, are you playing so late? 705. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get it. You know, there was talk about th two years ago before the pandemic hit. Everyone got kind of sidetracked. There was talk about Major League Baseball moving starting pitching times or start times, excuse me, an hour earlier, they were talking about going six Eastern so you could have the game over with before nine o'clock, which would be phenomenal. Atlanta continues to 720 crap. But anyways, another here nor there. Uh, Lester on the mound today. Smiley for the Braves. Look, we all know what Smiley has been. He's been up. He's been down. About the time you think he's really put it together, he gets clobbered by the Red Sox, gave up seven earned runs his last time out. Prior to that, he given up three against Pittsburgh, but pitched okay. You were getting excited when when he went, went up against Washington, when he went up against Milwaukee, had pitched 12 innings and one earned run ball. But that was coming off of, remember, before that, eight innings against Arizona and Toronto and giving up 10 earned runs. He's had essentially about 40% quality rate. So he goes again today. He's going to have an opportunity to pitch. Well, the nationals are not a juggernaut on offense. No matter what the scoreboard told you last night, the nationals are not a juggernaut. By any stretch of the imagination. But anyways, we uh, move on from that, and we look at tonight's matchup as, of course, John Lester, kind of the same situation. Nats fans can definitely tell you that. Um, John Lester has had some good outings, but all in all, he has not – really set the world on fire his last outing against milwaukee was good four innings one earned run but that that's a pretty bad milwaukee offense prior to that against baltimore this is more of the john lester that you've been seeing recently this year he went four innings six earned runs against the orioles he went five innings five earned runs in chicago against the cubs he had a good outing against Philly. He had an okay outing against Atlanta. He did get the loss last time out, May 6th. Atlanta got him out by the fifth inning, giving up three or 300 runs. So all in all, this will be John Lester's seventh start. 
He's had one quality start that was against Philly. The rest of the time, he's out by the fourth or fifth inning. So that's what Atlanta's going to look to do is to try to get into that, that bullpen again. Continue to get into that bullpen. Let's bang away. Let's get let's get the get Lester out of the game by the fourth inning. You put their bullpen again. You get into their bullpen again. They're gonna have nothing left by Thursday. And that's how you win a series. So we need Smiley to come out and pitch a good game. But if he's not, pull him. Because there are guys who have not pitched in almost a damn week. Let's go, Snicker. Let's get some, let's get some sense of urgency in that dugout. God dog it, I want to pull for you. But you're pissing me off. You're pissing off a lot of people in Atlanta. The hell is going on with, oh, we'll try to win tomorrow. No, we're gonna worry about today. You can't say that every damn day. It's one thing to be to, to understand that if you put away some W's and you're having a bad outing by your pitcher and you say, you know what? He's going to have to eat one, whatever. Okay, fair enough. But when every time the game's on the line, you have a t- chance to shut it down. What It was obvious Max Fried did not have his best stuff last night. Before it ever got to four to one, he should have been pulled. Granted, the two errors that set that up had a lot to do with it. But once he got into that situation, I think it's time to go get him. It's absolutely time to go get him. So anyhow, uh, today, 720 first pitch. We look forward to that. Um, Acuna's bomb last night, by the way. I don't want to leave you on a bad note. Acuna's bomb. God, is he is he special? Um, incredible night again. What did he get? He went three for four, had the home run, uh, he got a stolen base. That was, that was incredible head heads up base running, by the way, to just take third base. Cause there was no way in hell Castro was going to outrun him to get to the base. We need to see that more. And this is what I'm gonna leave with that shifting that the Braves do the over shifting I was surprised. I saw a statistic the other day, and they were talking about the top five teams that do the most shifting in baseball, and the Braves weren't in the top five. And I was like, I don't know if that's true. Depends on what you define as a shift. The Braves shift on every damn play, it seems like, and there were a couple of times we could have gotten out of innings because there was a tailor-made double play, but we're shifting, and all they're doing is smart, great, good hitting by Castro and company just dribbling it past you. You can't expect Freddie Freeman to cover an entire football field over there. And you got three guys crammed over on the right side. It's stupid. You start rallies with that. Whoever the analytical team is in Atlanta, there are a bunch of dumbasses that can't get out of their own way. Let the talent on the field win the damn game. Today, I would assume that we will probably get Contreras back in behind the plate again. He is facing a lefty. He should be able to rake. But, brother, please knock it off with the pass balls. It's costing a pass ball is as bad as a fumble in football. It's costing us ball games. All right, well, have a great day. I do believe Atlanta will win tonight. Um, Score prediction. I think I think we'll get the offense going. I see Atlanta winning something like uh seven to smiley's on the mound, seven to three. And we'll see you uh tomorrow on Braves Country today. Tomorrow we're up against the Nats again, and it's an early first pitch of of about high noon. We'll see you. Manana, have a great day and thanks for watching Braves Country. Please uh like and share and uh spread the word. Try to do something for Braves fans every single day. You're in Braves country.